In this math cast, we're looking at systems of linear equations two by two. What does that mean? That means we have a system of two equations and two variables. And in particular, we're going to examine the method of solution called the substitution method. And here is our candidate system. Now, why is this a good candidate system for the substitution method? The substitution method works best when one, at least one of the equations can be solved for one of the variables relatively easily. This equation right here, the first equation, can be solved easily for x. I will subtract 2y from both sides. So the first step in using the substitution method is to pick one of the equations and solve it for one of the variables. We have picked the first equation, and we are solving it for the variable x. So we have x, and we're subtracting 2y from both sides. 5 minus 2y. And then we rewrite the other equation, 2x minus y equals 0. So that is our first step. Now, we have 5 minus 2y equals x, and we're going to substitute that into the second equation, hence the name substitution method. So what do we get? Now, we have to just keep this along with us all the time, so we're going to rewrite it probably, I think, six times. So now, in place of this x, we're going to write 5 minus 2y. Notice I put it in parentheses so I could find it. Now what's left? I still have a minus y and equals 0. So what have we got with this? Well, what happens is this right here, this equation right here, is an equation in how many unknowns? All that's left is the unknown y. This is an equation in one unknown. We know how to solve those. So what do we do? We rewrite the top equation. And we start to clean up and solve the second equation for y. 2 times 5 is 10. 2 times minus 2y is minus 4y. That's this part. Now we have the rest minus y equals 0. We can see that it's a, an equation in one unknown that we can solve. So we write the top one again. And we have 10 minus 4y minus another y is minus 5y equal to 0. And put the y on the one side and the constant on the other side. So we have x equals 5 minus 2y. And here we have 10 equals 5y. I hate it when the, con the variable is on the right side. So I'm going to waste my time and my energy and my pencil and turn that equation around to be 5y equals 10. That's much easier for me to solve. And so I rewrite this one for, what, the sixth time? Yep, exactly six. And I get, dividing both sides by 5, y equals 2. So now what have I got for myself? I have a value for y, which I will now substitute in to the other equation. x equals 5 minus 2 times that 2 there. And I just rewrite the bottom one now, y equals 2. And now I have only to simplify this to find out how much x is. So x equals 5 minus 4, which is 1, and y equals 2. And so my solution is exactly 1, 2. Solution to this system is x equal to 1, y equals to 2. Sometimes we write it as an ordered pair, 1, 2. Now we can check that by substituting back into the original equations. Let's see. We're going to substitute into the bottom equation. 
So what is it? 2x minus y equals 0. You could check it at least one equation. So x is 1, so we have 2 times 1 minus y is 2, and we're asking whether this is 0. It should be 0. This is a Boolean equation. It means it's a true or a not true thing, and we hope it's true, because otherwise we messed up. So we have 2 minus 2, 0 equals 0, so it is true, and we are done. Let's check by graphing, just for fun. That's why we saved this space here. Here is the equation of x plus 2y equals 5. Here is the equation of 2x minus y equals 0, and they meet at the point 1, 2.